A new survey by Alberta's medical professionals found what anyone who's had the misfortune of rushing to the emergency room knows, the wait takes hours. The Alberta Medical Association survey found 71% of patients think timeliness in emergency departments has gotten worse, while 78% have hesitated about seeking emergent medical attention. The emergency room always takes those that are sickest first. So if you go to the front of the line, that's always a bad thing. We didn't see anybody for over two hours. We laid there and we waited for a prescription. Brittany Brewer shares this photo of her eight-year-old sister lying on the floor last week in a COVID isolation room in the emergency department of Drayton Valley Hospital. She says it's not the first time she's waited. Two months ago, she waited for five hours with her two young sons who had ear infections. In the moment, I was not happy. Um, we left. We left untreated. I, I couldn't sit there any longer. It was two in the morning and I was like, I, I'm sorry that I completely wasted my kids time and put them through this for nothing. But I I couldn't sit there any longer. The president of the Alberta Medical Association says they and Alberta Health are working on a negotiated agreement to address the issues that contribute to long wait times, short staffing and more. She says those changes will be seen in the coming years. But until then, if you need emergency services, don't wait or try primary health care. If you feel you need care, Go to the emergency room, but be patient. Be patient with the providers that are trying to look after you and the physicians, they will get to you. <laughs> As a mom, it frustrates me that I can't access other options to alleviate the stress on the emergency room. So I feel that, unfortunately, the emergency room needs help so they can help us. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.